What's up, agents? Zero here. Welcome back to some more Root Coin Line. Before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that if you're watching this video around the time it's being released, I'm going to be on this game on North America 3 for the next hour and a half. So if you guys want to play this game with me, now's your chance. <laughs> Anyway, now that that little announcement's out of the way again, welcome back to some more RootCoin Online. I did a video on this a few months ago for another Random Game Fry video. However, um, I was still technically using Video Show to have my videos back at that uh, time. So, back then, uh, for whatever reason, it liked to distort my audio. So, the audio on that game is actually terrible as far as the video is concerned. But if you guys want to check that video out anyway that you can check the link down in the description. Just giving you that forewarning that doesn't sound all that good. It's nothing uh, that I even did. Anyway, so here's what this game is. This is an online MMO RPG for those of you who have never seen this game before. And for whatever reason, the developers only made it available for Google Play. So iOS users, I apologize, but there's really nothing I can do. Um, there will be a link down in the description if you guys want to play this game. For yourself it is completely free to play. There are micro transactions if you guys decide you want to do that. They're not entirely necessary to play the game. You can still play it for free. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is a top-down MMO RPG as you can see, and I have two things of which I want to do in this video. The first one that I want to do, um, I'm gonna be showing you guys. The two places of which I know of as of right now where you can actually go ahead and get loot. Now I'm not going to say that these are the only places of which you're able to get loot. In fact, I'm only level 65. I literally just got level 65. So I can only access really two areas uh, uh, for right now that actually is rather decent at getting loot. Uh, so I would have no doubt in my mind that there are other places that you can do that. Um, I just have to get high enough level. And once I'm done with that, the second thing I want to do, this is barring I have enough time in this video. I actually want to head up north, up here. Because I want to do some leveling up. I want to do some leveling up. Um, now, mainly because I'm as far into the game as I am, it's going to take a while to level up, but at least getting some experience is better than getting no experience. I've been playing this game quite a bit, especially recently, on my phone, and I've been enjoying it. It's technically a grinding type of game, I'll admit to that much. I know there's some people that aren't into that kind of thing, but I've been enjoying this regardless. And I wanted to do another video on this because I figured some of you who might be new to the channel might be interested in seeing what this game is all about. So, here we are. We are in the first area of which I usually go to. I did not realize that my volume was near as high as it was. Let me go ahead and turn that down. Okay, so this is the first area of which I usually come to when I want to get loot. This, I don't know what to call it, but this is completely full of goblins. And the goblins, as you can tell, are all level 15. So, uh, one thing to mention is that I would not recommend going someplace with enemies unless you're at least five levels above. At least that's my recommendation. Be at least five levels above the enemy that you want to take out before you decide you want to try to take them out. Um, something I did not explicitly mention at the start of this video is how the game mechanics actually end up working. You obviously have been seeing me moving around by me tapping the screen and, it's, and um, from there it's moving me around. That much is obvious. But I feel like I should go ahead and explain up in the, uh, in the top left, bottom left, and bottom right corner. So, up at the top left, that is my health. The red bar is my health, which is 1075. The blue 
is my man, which I'll explain in uh, just a moment. The white bar, the really tiny white bar, that is my experience level. If I go into settings and click on stats, that's right here, level 65. That's what I'm uh, looking at. Down in the bottom left, down over here, um, the top icon is my special move, and that uses up mana because uh, I'm using um, a sword right now. That means I'm going to swing in all directions. Then you see I have blue potions and red potions. The red potions are health potions, which just simply increase my um, health, obviously. And there are three different strengths of health potions. As you can see, I just picked up a small one. And there's a medium one, which I don't use. And then there's a large one, which is what I'm using. Same goes with the blue potions. The blue potions are mana potions, and they increase my mana when I'm running low. Now the buttons down in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, this is my class. Right now, I am a knight, which means I use my sword. If I tap on bow, I am now an archer, which means I will use bow and arrow in order to take out enemies, and as you can see, um, down by my um, buttons down there, it actually says how many arrows that I have, and it obviously goes down by one each time. The last one, this is Mage. Oh yeah, I should probably go ahead and mention what uh, the special does for Archer. So this sends out a barrage of arrows in, I want to say three directions, I'm not entirely sure, I haven't fully figured it out. But the arrow strikes are actually pretty strong. And then the mage, this does um, magic damage. And this is where the mana comes into play. If I actually go ahead and attack this goblin with my magic. If you, well actually that doesn't do much uh, to show you guys. Because these goblins are taken out with one hit. But if you look close enough, it does use up my mana. Just very little at once. And if I use my special attack, it actually highlights, and then I tap on the ground, and sends a burst of fire. That's exactly how that works. Now, as I mentioned, I'm here because I want to show you guys that you can get loot from goblins. And goblin loot is actually fairly common. Take a look, I literally just got this bow, so I can go ahead and pick that up. Goblins drop quite a bit of loot, all things considered. More common than the other enemies that I've encountered in this game. If there are any enemies of higher level that I can't take on as of right now, that drop even more loot, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, but yeah, as you can tell, I just got a bow, and I also got... A piece of headgear, which I'm not going to be using this headgear. Look, we just got ourselves another bow, a chest plate, which I literally just picked up. And let's go ahead and go into my inventory. So this is my inventory screen. And by the way, I want to go ahead and mention that I technically have 32 slots in my inventory. And that's strictly because I have this backpack right here. This is uh, the, the item that I purchased from the shop in order to give me max inventory. I found out from shopping from other uh, players that there are um, other inventory items that have larger um, inventories. I have no idea how to get those, but f uh, until I figure that out and I'm actually able to get said inventory uh, package, um, I'm kind of stuck with having the max uh, storage of being 32. Um... But yeah, so yeah, as you can tell, I'm picking up quite a few items. I've got, uh, I want to say about, I have, do have over half of my inventory already full at this point. I've got quite a few items going on in my inventory, obviously, as you can tell. Alright, so that's the first area of which I want to show you guys that you can get a decent amount of loot. We're going to go to another place of which you can get loot. The loot is not near as frequent, but it is actually rather decent loot. Now, the loot that I'm showing you guys that I'm getting, um, 
When you're a high enough level, you up. Oh, I touched my um recording software um icon. I did not mean to do that. Um, so the items that I get, the main thing that I end up doing with them is actually selling them in order to get money. Which that is one main thing. I just passed it up. Okay, so I mainly sell it so I can get more coins, so I can obviously be able to buy stuff. And this is the next area of which you can get loot from. And as I just mentioned, the loot here is not near as common. I just took out a mummy and I got myself, if I look at it, I got myself a studded glove for the right. Which, all things considered, is not too bad. Then again, it's also a tier 2 um, armor piece. It's only tier 2. And right now, I am working on my Tier 3 set. I've got all the pieces of the Tier 3 set that I can get for now. They've separated Tier 3 between level 65 and level 75, so I'm only halfway equipped. Um, but yeah, that um, study glove that I pick up is Tier 2. And that guy that you just saw, you see all that fire around him? That is him using this ability right here. Now if we go deeper into this dungeon, you can see we are now encountering both mummies and pharaohs. Now pharaohs are actually kind of interesting in that they are actually act similar to goblins, but you guys didn't get to see what the goblins did because I one-shot them. Basically what happens is that they're smart enough to realize when they are getting weak, and therefore, they will run away from you. However, um, not all enemies do that. Uh, mummies don't do that. Pharaohs will. As you watch these pharaohs that I'm attacking, when they get low in health, if they get low enough on health, because sometimes I'm doing enough damage to just go ahead and take them out before it happens, um, you will notice that they do start to try to run away from me. And, ooh, I got a... Uh, level uh, 15 ring, it's not too bad. Then again, I'm kind of at a, um, I think a level 30 ring at the moment. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, this is the other area that you can go to to get loot. And again, as I mentioned, the loot does not come near as frequently um, uh, in this area as it does with the goblins. But the loot that you're getting from these guys sells for more. It's not like too much more, all things considered, but it is more. And this dungeon actually consists of um, three levels, which I didn't actually go into the dungeon for the goblins, which there is a dungeon for the goblins, and there are two levels uh, for that. You just have to find the staircase down into the lower levels. And I decided I want to not actually go ahead and take advantage. Actually, you know what? Now will actually be a relatively cool time to show you guys an item which I have, which is a teleport scroll. So I just go ahead and use it. And these, I don't know how much they cost in the shop, but that takes me right back here, which is actually not too bad. And... Before we go any further, I'm going to go to my vault because I want to store up this ring because I've been storing up rings to hopefully be able to sell them. In fact, actually, I'm currently doing a little bit of selling right now, which if you guys actually go ahead and decide you want to play with me, I should still have these items in my shop. And the way you do that is by tapping on your character. This is what my store currently is full of. I've got the small health and mana potions, which I'm selling them for 500 coins for 20 of them, which is actually half the cost that it takes to buy the same amount from the actual shop. And if I go ahead and tap on another player, this person is actually selling short swords, which are level 25 and have attack of 20. And that's exactly how you get into other players' shops. It's actually not too bad. Now let me go ahead and show you guys what these um potions are actually selling for so they cost but 50 to buy one and obviously if you tap them by 10 that means you're buying 
10 of them for 500 and I'm selling them for uh, 20 which means I am, as I said, selling them for half the price that you actually get them from the shop. So before I go any further, I'm going to go ahead and sell all the stuff I got from the goblins and the uh, mummies and pharaohs. Which, this is simply how you do it. You just simply sell all your loot. And, and then, as I mentioned, as you saw, I get coins from actually taking out enemies as well. And one thing I probably should go ahead and do, I don't actually use the small potions. So, I'm going to go ahead and add these into my vault. Which, if I could be able to move this that would be great um okay so it's glitching out so i can only do it like this i'm gonna put in two so i have a hundred and i'm only gonna put in one and for whatever re this this system is actually a lot smoother on my phone for whatever reason than it is on my tablet so i can actually just slide the slider there we go okay there we go and I think it should be fine for right now. Now, I said I was going to do this if I had enough time, and I definitely do have enough time. I'm going to take on the assassins, and at least that's what I'm assuming it's actually called. And these are the actual assassins. So, this is... Okay, so apparently people are actually buying stuff for me, which is actually good. I didn't realize people were actually going to do that. Okay, so these are the assassins. They actually come in two different sizes. Okay, so people are actually legitimately buying stuff for me, though, which is good. I'm going to have to restock um, before too long. Okay, so these are the assassins. They come in levels fi uh, 50 and 45, and depending on which one that you're taking on um they are actually uh swan the 50 is actually stronger than the 45 that much is fairly obvious okay how much do i have my store is now empty okay so those man potions i was playing and being able to sell you guys um while i was playing online that's not gonna happen i do have a plan for something else i can sell i've got stuff in my vault that I can sell. I've got plenty of level 15 uh, rings, which I do believe give you plus two um, defense, which in an RPG, starting off low d does make a lot of sense, but that's still not all that much, so I can sell those. I have to figure out how much um, I need to sell those for. But yeah, all I'm doing right now is trying to gain experience. It's going to take a while for me to be able to get a decent amount of experience in order to level up. Then again, that's kind of the way this game is intended to work. Now, let me see. Is this actually going to do damage? Okay, so it is doing damage because sometimes it doesn't do nearly as much damage as I would like to if I use my bow and arrow on the assassins. And what about my staff. Let me check how much does my staff do. I'm actually a little bit surprised that people decide to buy the potions for me, but at the same time, I'm not. But that did take them out of my inventory at least, so that's good. So people are actually liking the fact that I sold them for as big a sex as I was, for as cheap as I was. That's actually not too bad. That's actually not... Um, great. technically... It's less than uh, they're normally sold for, as I mentioned. Okay, I just leveled up my magic to level 43. That's technically part of the reason why you want to use all of your different abilities. Um, the fact that I was able to do that was actually good. Then again, I don't use the smaller potions all too much. I mainly use the large potions. I suppose something I could do... I have enough gold. I could probably... Go ahead and, um, let me go ahead and switch to my sword because it's stronger as of right now. Let me go ahead and show you guys the, um, special ability. So if I go ahead and do this, 
Okay, it took out the assassin without a problem. Uh, actually, I'm not going to go in there. This up here is actually the next area over up here. I just can't get to it because I have to go down um, the stairs and into the multi-layer labyrinth in order to be able to... Um, I did not mean to tap that a second time. Um, in order to make it to the next area over. However, the enemies in that area are far too strong for me to be able to take out at this time. So, it's going to be a while before I'm actually able to get in there. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and use another teleport scroll and get the heck out of here. Because that's something I definitely probably should do. There we go, I made it. Alright. So... Let me see, how many more potions do I have back in my vault? Uh, not a lot, I know that much. Alright, 31 and 7. Let me go ahead and pull out the 7 potions and the 31 potions. And let's see, if I go ahead and move out of my area and take a look at my... Inventory. Actually, let me go ahead and go. Okay, so we have eight red potions, three, three blue potions. I suppose what I could do before I get ready to start playing this game for you guys to play with me. Something I suppose I could do is sell them in sets of five. I'm obviously going to have to end up buying more potions in order to do that, but I could sell them in sets of five. Which, if they sell for 500 normally for a set of 10, that means I could sell them for 250 for a set of 5. I'm actually a half surprised and half not surprised they sold as well as they did. Then again, having mana potions and health potions are actually kind of crucial. But you know what, with that out of the way, I think this is actually a good place to go ahead and end off the video. Again, as another reminder, I am going to be playing this game on North America 3 for the next hour and a half. And again, it is only available on Google Play. I apologize to my iOS fans, there's nothing I can do. But I will be on North America 3 for the next hour and a half, so that's until... 12 noon central time that I'm actually going to be on this game. So you guys have quite a bit of time to be with me. And I'm going to figure something out to set my shop back up before then. So you guys will actually be able to get stuff from me. But you know what? With that out of the way, this is actually where I'm going to go ahead and end off the video. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure that like button. Well, more than that, make sure that subscribe button for future content. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at HNCP0 to stay updated. This has been Zero Studios. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I'll see you guys within the next few minutes on North America 3. But yeah, with that, I will see you guys later.